Hello friends, today I'm going to be showing you 9 of the most important Canva hacks you need to use in your next project. The first tip is that if you want to highlight something or give something a shadow in your YouTube thumbnail to make it pop out, well, there's a way to do that. Click the image, go to edit image, go to shadows and go to glow. Now as you can see, it's standing out a bit more. You can change the transparency to make it stand out a bit more, the size and the blur. And if you want a white background behind it to make it pop out, you can reduce the blur, increase transparency to max, and you can reduce the size a little bit, and there you go. You've got your white uh, outline. My second trick is to use the arrow keys to align text more precisely. So let me show you that. First, drag in some text, enter some text. Now, if you want to move the text, use your arrow keys. As you can see now uh, it's getting centered and this is a more precise way of doing stuff. My third tip is for if you want to put a gradient behind your logo or your YouTube thumbnail. So first go to elements, search up gradient. Now here you'll find many gradients but we are looking for a certain gradient. After getting this one right here, scale it up just like so. And now, if you want to change the gradient, you can choose the different colors you want to put. So, as you can see, this is the gradient I've made. Okay, so the fourth tip is that you can actually add and discover different palettes that you want to use for your logos, your YouTube thumbnails, or just for your company. So, press this button right here, and now you can add a custom palette. You can also make a custom palette where you can choose different colors just like so and as you can see I have a custom palette the next thing I want to show you is the brand fonts option basically here you can upload your very own font and you can use it so let me show you how to do it first click on upload a font button then go to the folder where you have uploaded the font and after doing that upload the font just like so one eternity later and once it's complete, voila, here you go, your font. Okay, so now let's test out uploaded font. Let's search up doses. And now, as you can see, we have our doses extra light. My next pro tip is creating a team. Basically, you can create a team so that all of y'all can collaborate on one project. And if you're in a company, you can see your other peers projects too. So I'm gonna create a team. Uh, coders destiny team and I'm gonna press the continue button now you need to enter all of their email addresses and after that you need to press go to team you can also get an invite link and then you can press go to team you can upgrade your team members to Canva Pro but we aren't gonna be doing that now Okay, so now for my seventh clip, what I'm going to be showing you is something called the content planner on Canva. Basically on here, you can press the plus symbol, you can upload your recent project and you can upload it on sites like Pinterest, a Facebook group, Twitter, Slack, Tumblr, all of those things. My tip on Canva is if you want to make something bigger precisely, all you need to do is click on that something. Press the control key and press the arrow keys. As you can see, my square is getting wider and becoming a rectangle. I can make it shorter, I can make it longer, and I can enlarge in it and make it smaller. Is how you can upload your Canva projects onto different folders. So basically what you can do, you can press uploads. You can see all your uploads here. You can see all your designs, you can also see gradient shapes, you can create a new folder by clicking that button, you can name your folder, hello, that's what I'm going to name it, you can share it with a team member if you want, you can also make this your private folder, now you can upload stuff onto this folder, and I'm going to upload um, an image onto this folder, so let's see, I'll upload this image onto the folder. As you can see, it's a margarita pizza and as you can see, it's in our folder. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. Make sure to hit that like button and subscribe and also make sure to hit the notification bell so that you get notified when I upload a new video. 
See you. Bye.